Hey Saggies, it's your honest homegirl Keisha Neek and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave for another healing homie. And with that said, if you're new to my channel, what's up guys? If you're a returning healing homie, what's up gang? How are you? I missed you guys. Um, how I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first and then we get into your honest talk and tarot session. At the very end, I do, you know, pick a few cards to sit there and pick your person's brain to see uh, what they may want to say to you or what you may want to say to them. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the very end. Uh, so let's get into your intuitive message. So a lot of you guys, you, some of you could be hiding the fact that you've come across a lot of money. You've won some type of money. Uh, you could have hit the lotto. You could have hit a scratch off really big. Um, for some of you guys, you could be really hiding um, what it is that you're trying to build. Some of you are trying to build generational wealth at this time. So you're keeping that hidden from people on how you're going to do that. Some of you are coming into a lawsuit as well. You There was some type of injustice for some of you and you guys are coming into some money and you may not tell anybody about this. Some of you are definitely dealing with someone that is bipolar or you may be bipolar. Some of you are having difficulty managing your emotions, especially with how you express yourself with the people that you love and care about or with a partner or your partner has a difficult time managing their emotions. Some of you, a lot of this stuff could stem from daddy issues or your dad may have issues managing their emotions. They may be bipolar. This is something that you didn't know. And then, you know, um, these characteristic traits, you know, somehow, some way landed in your lap and now you're dealing with the same thing as them. Um, many of you may be hiding the fact that you do have daddy issues where, you know, a lot of your trauma stems from your relationship with your fathers. Um, whether your father was in your life or not, um, either way, they did affect you in some way, shape or form with molding you and who you've become. But if you are an adult, um, it's time for you to hold yourself accountable and it's time for you to seek the help that you need to seek. Uh, some of you could be hiding the fact that you are bipolar as well, okay? Uh, some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra at this time, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. And if you do have Virgo placements, Sagittarius, definitely check out that Virgo reading because somebody got some money, some sh money coming in because Virgo got that too. So if you're a Sagittarius with Virgo placements, know that some sh money is coming your way. Uh, with that said, if that resonated so far with you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share i really appreciate the support it really helps my channel grow and let's get into your honest talk and tarot session now spirit what does sagittarius need to be self-aware of what do they need to be aware of what does sagittarius good gosh Okay, you guys have a lot right here. All right, so when it comes to self-awareness, okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you could just be dealing with communications. At this time, there's a lot going on with the placements of Gemini at this time. Mars is in retrograde in Gemini. There's a lot going on astrologically speaking. So watch what you say, okay? Watch how you say things, especially to family members. Um because you may have family members looking at you like, I don't understand you. I don't understand why you are so toxic. I don't understand why you talk to me this way when I care about you, when I love you. I don't understand uh, your communication skills, okay? They don't, they don't get it. They don't understand it. Or this is you. You don't understand why you talk the way that you talk to your family members. You don't understand why you have these toxic traits or these bad habits or these vices. You're un you don't understand why your family uh, is the way that they are, okay? You could be questioning, where did this come from? Why did this happen? And a lot of it stems from the relationships that you know you or your family members have had with their fathers, okay? Some of these, their fathers deal with depression or by being bipolar or you know just having a difficulty managing their emotions in some way shape or form this could be something that's being talked amongst the family or you may want to bring this up to your family so you can find out the root cause to something that could be very low vibration or very toxic or something that you know is hindering you or hindering a loved one at this time okay but please watch how you say it is what i'm seeing here okay Watch how you say it, watch how you come across, watch how you express yourself, 
Watch how you're talking and communicating. Let's look at family and friends. Okay, so you're blocked from family and friends. You may have family and friends that are, are blocked on your phone or you are blocking people out where you're isolating yourself. You really don't want to deal with anybody at this time or you may have family and friends uh, that are doing this towards you, okay? Um, especially if you are a young adult, especially if you are a female, especially if you are a teenage female, okay? You may feel blockages between you and your family where it's like you guys are just not connecting, you're not getting along, okay? I do need for Sagittarius for you guys to be aware of your family dynamic, your stability, your security, Okay, I need you to be aware of you not questioning yourself. Okay, some of you question your mental stability at this time. And the thing is, if you believe that something is wrong with you, then something's wrong with you. But if you believe you can work through it and you can manage your life with whether you're bipolar or not, or whether you have difficulty managing your emotions, don't talk down on yourself because at the end of the day, we all got vices. We all have issues. We all have something that we need to work on within ourselves. So don't look at yourself as a bad person because you may be dealing with a difficult time in your time in your life right now. It's only temporary. It's not forever. Okay. And this is why you may feel like there's a disconnect between you and your family members. But let's look at your finances. I'm telling you, finances is looking good, baby. Yeah, finances is looking good. Somebody came across some money. Somebody found a job. Um, Spirit is telling you when it comes to your finances, do not get back in a toxic cycle or a pattern that you may have. You may have the tendency to come into some money and spend all your money on your loved ones because you're feeling good at this time and deciding to entertain, drink, smoke, party, buy all that you want to buy. But the thing is, spirits like do not get caught up in bad habits and bad cycles. It's okay for you to sit there and spend a little bit of money, but take some of that money and do something with it. Multiply that money. Invest it wisely, okay? For many of you, when it comes to finances, you love your job. You love what it is that you do. You've gotten a promotion. You've decided, you know, I'm going to entertain this job opportunity. I'm going to entertain this love. I'm seeing love, too, in the workplace, so please be mindful of that, too. You don't want to sit there and uh mess with uh anybody really at work because you may have a bad habit of doing that Sagittarius working with people and then getting in relationships with them and then it affects your finances or it affects the environment or the vibe at work so please be mindful of that because spirit is like heavily on the cycles that you keep putting yourself in when it comes to finances blowing too much money on the people that you love and they don't really deserve it spending money on a lover and uh, it, it never ends up working out or you sitting there dating somebody from your job is spirits like there's a cycle that you keep doing and you need to end it now. OK, but money is still looking good for you. OK, you're sitting pretty. You may even have gotten two job offers that you really love and you're having to decide between the two. Some of you even received bonuses at this time at work and you're deciding on what you're going to splurge on or purchase with that money, okay? There's nothing wrong with spending money on yourself, but the thing is make sure you're not getting yourself caught up out there in the moment because you feel good because you have money. Um, let's look at love relationships. Ooh, somebody pregnant. If you are a fireside male, okay, you may have gotten somebody pregnant that you're sexually involved in in a relationship with and you're thinking if you did, you did. Uh, for others of you, um, you may be dating a fireside male, Aries or Sagittarius, and you're going to get pregnant by this person if you haven't already or if you think you are pregnant by this person. Yes, you are pregnant by this person, okay? For others of you, you... Um, You've gotten pregnant by someone that makes a lot of money. And this is probably where this money could be coming from. Okay. Some of you, again, you got somebody that you work with pregnant. I don't know. I'm, let, me, let, me, let me clarify this one. I'm, now I'm being nosy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You no longer being single. 
you're going to get married to this person. Please do not get married to somebody just because you got somebody pregnant, Sagittarius. Don't do that. Don't do that. That may be a reason why there is a rift with you and your family members because they are not agreeing with you marrying somebody because you got them pregnant. Do not marry somebody just because you got them pregnant. Marry somebody because you want to marry that person and you're in love with that person and you don't see yourself without that person. Do not make the mistake of marrying somebody just because they're pregnant. I don't care what they say or what their family say. But you won't be by yourself no more. I tell you that much. There is a baby here. There's a baby. And I see commitment here too. For some of you, this may work out for you. But for some of you, you may want to um, really think about uh, the decision that you make. Make sure it's because your heart is in it to marry somebody, not because they are pregnant. Okay. I'm hearing don't make the mistakes of somebody else. That's why you may have daddy issues. Maybe your father sat there and married somebody and because they were pregnant and they ended up in a relationship that really wasn't a relationship that they needed and they had to heal from that. Okay? Be mindful of that. Let's look at, you know, the impact of how relationships in your past, present, and or future has uh, affected you. Let's see what you may be having to heal from, what you're going through. Some of you became a bully, okay? Maybe you dated somebody that bullied you. Maybe you dated somebody that was mean towards you. You dated somebody that really uh, made you question yourself because we have overthinker here as well, all right? And that's something that you need to heal from. And that's probably why you really can't manage your, your emotions so well because you've been chastised by someone that was supposed to love you. Okay, let's look at what this person may want to say to you, your person that's on your mind, or what you may want to say to your person. What this Sagittarius' this person that's on their mind want to say? We have, can we try something new? We also have, funny how things change. You may date somebody that has a gun, or you have one, and it says, mistaken my love. Okay. Let's get um, homegirl advice. At the bottom of the deck, we have protection. So please protect yourself. If you haven't gotten anybody pregnant, please protect yourself or you will get somebody pregnant or they will get pregnant or you will get pregnant. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, somebody is dealing with mommy issues as well. So there could be issues from both your mother and your father that you're dealing with at this time and your emotions may be all over the place a month from now is a prominent time so it could be this pregnancy here still be safe out there some of you need to get a personal reading from a reader that you trust it says it's time to think big will it matter in three years and have the willpower to do it okay take that message how it resonates for you guys Let's get an oracle message and we will wrap this up. Of course, with Sagittarius, I will get my readings down to 15 minutes. It says, playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. It says, simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and your work life to balance the flow of activities. And you also have this like Virgo alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. So yeah, there's something. There's a gold mine coming to you. You got some money coming to you. Some expansion coming to you, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you later.